YouTube. Seriously, TRM is killing it as far as a US knife manufacturer. Now, as I mentioned in several other videos going over or briefly talking about TRM, today I wanted to actually do a video going over my Neutron and why I think that, similar to Hoke, TRM is a knife company that is not getting a lot of attention, but is a really, really awesome USA knife brand. So, without any further ado, guys, let's jump into why I think that way and a little bit more about my TRM Neutron. Now, TRM may be no Wii Knife Company or Riate with a large budget to send knives to knife tubers or influencers, but this small brand actually does a really excellent job at making quality knives. I mean, look at how smooth the action is on this guy. Not to mention how thin, how super slicey this piece of CPM 20 CV steel is. And on top of that, the biggest reason why I love TRM so far from what I've encountered and experienced, especially with my Neutron, is the fact that they are super reasonably priced. Even brand new from factory, they're costing right around $200 to $190. But on secondary, you can easily find them for around $150, $60, $75 dollars and ultimately these guys for that price point offer a lot of performance and value in addition to especially with things like the neutron and atom they have super easily swappable scales which is a big deal for some people i know some people like to really personalize their knives for me it's not that huge of a deal i got this one on secondary and it came with three sets of scales it's currently wearing a black g10 and an orange g10 I kind of like the two-tone, but yeah, ultimately it's not a huge deal for me. But like I was saying, what really I think makes this knife brand special is the fact that you have such a high quality, high performance, and really well put together blade in such an affordable package. And even looking at this blade in comparison to things such as the Benchmade Bug Out, you know, you have this mass-produced Benchmade bug out over here and this TRM, not quite mass-produced, but very similar in overall size and overall length. Um, you guys can see here, hopefully, pretty darn similar. The Neutron is slightly smaller and arguably slightly thinner in the handles. I mean, it looks like it. I'd probably have to pull out a micrometer to actually tell, but... In all reality, this thing is very thin, very slicey, but yet super hand filling. And that is a really cool factor. I think a lot of uh, knife manufacturers have a hard time hitting this mark. Anyways, that is the TRM Neutron. And this guy is really freaking cool. And like I was saying, being the fact that they're an American manufacturer, they are a little bit smaller and like I said, they fly under the radar, similar to Hogue. And I just, outside of without being like too rude or too mean, and maybe I should be, you know, I feel like a lot of these knife companies like Civivi or Best Tech or all of these like Chinese brands, they send a lot of knives to knife tubers and influencers, similar to myself although I don't accept those deals, but um, you know they send a lot of these knives to companies to push them in your face. Whereas I think with a lot of these American companies outside of Benchmade, ironically, because they do send knives to influencers, but uh, outside of Benchmade, companies like TRM and Hogue, you know, they're not really as prevalent or as savvy maybe. You know, they don't send knives out to the popular peoples on places like YouTube to get all of that brand recognition, but they really Really are out in the fields creating um, knives and once again I have no affiliation with TRM they don't know me they don't know me I don't personally like know them but as a consumer I'm a pretty big fan of them and I've been EDCing this one for a little while now and I really just think that they're worth talking about like I think that this company is worth some serious airtime because like I said while they 
I don't owe them anything. Um, they do make some really good blades, and I think ultimately they are one of those companies, as I've mentioned, with other companies like Tour or Heretic, uh, you know, these, these knife companies are really just out there manufacturing really awesome blades, and they don't get the attention that they deserve. And moreover, you know, a lot of knife companies are kind of turning that angle of, oh, well, you know, American knife manufacturing is dead because Chinese knives have taken over and they're just so pervasive. And it's like, sure, you know, they're sending, China is sending more knives to popular people, but at the same time, too, these knife companies still exist, they're still quality blades, and they're really worth checking out. So anyways, without getting too repetitive, that really kind of sums up what... I feel and think about TRM. The Neutron itself is really cool. I definitely am going to be picking up an Atom in the future, but for now, this Neutron definitely serves a really good uh, representation of what TRM is capable of. And if you guys haven't already been convinced by this video to go check them out, if you're in the market for, you know, a nicer blade, once again, something that's around the higher one. $100, you know, kind of range. These guys are really worth checking out. And once again, you're supporting a local or an American manufacturer that is reasonably small scale. And honestly, I think puts together a pretty darn fine looking knife that certainly has the performance to back it. So anyways, guys, that is the TRM Neutron. That is the company. That's why you should buy one. Go check them out. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.